serve as stark reminders of safety here at home, especially since a new report suggests there is some evidence that al-Qaeda could be targeting the U.S. in a terror spectacular. NBC terrorism analyst Evan Coleman is back with us once again. So, Evan, of course, uh, there have been these reports. The media outlets are reporting them. It's all over the Internet. Uh, how much credence do you put into this? You have to you take it with a grain of salt. I mean, keep in mind it's the job of the Department of Homeland Security to worry about these things even when there is no real need to worry. They need to make sure that every point is covered, every base is covered. I think really if you look at this, you can say that we don't have any specific intelligence about any specific operation that's ongoing. There is a drumbeat of information about suicide bombers potentially being trained in Afghanistan and being dispatched back to the UK and the US to carry out operations. But other than very kind of oblique reports from Al Qaeda, a video or two, there really is nothing specific. So, you know, it's always good to keep aware and it's always good to keep the public aware, but I wouldn't put too much specific stock into this report. And we should say Homeland Security Secretary Michael Chertoff has also said that there isn't any evidence of a credible threat out there right now. Uh, officials speaking to NBC News have called the report overblown, yeah. a, a, as you are. Uh, but they are they do concede, of course, these officials, that there is an increased concern. The last thing that they want is for have another 9-11 happen, and then people turn around and say, what happened to the DHS? Where was the Department of Homeland Security? I think if there's going to be any indication that anything is on the horizon, DHS wants to let people know about it, especially wants to let first responders potentially know about this but again I would put I would put a big note of caution here there is no specific intelligence about a specific terrorist attack in the, in the near future let's talk about the level of communication between nations uh, now let's talk about between us and the UK of course because that's on on everybody's minds but how much communication is there I mean I think we assume that it's very open yeah. and that anything that happens over there uh, our officials are learning about and, and sort of in concert with those officials so that we can prepare ourselves here at home for some Thing. Yeah. Uh, is that communication that open? It's open. It's not as open as it used to be, and I'll tell you why. Uh, in a number of previous terrorist investigations, namely the East Coast Buildings Plot, that's when there were UK plotters plotting to try to blow up buildings here on the East Coast of the United States, uh, British authorities shared a lot of information immediately with US law enforcement, and some of that got leaked to the media. And that caused a really problematic situation for British law enforcement because they were literally having to high-speed chase people down on a highway because these guys saw their faces on TV. So there's, uh, you know, because of that, there is reluctance now, I think, on the part of some British security folks to share everything they know with U.S. law enforcement. There's also, I can tell you just from being over there recently, I received a lot of complaints from British law enforcement that they're not getting cooperation the same way from this side of the Atlantic, that people aren't that willing at the Justice Department to cooperate with their investigations. So hopefully that's a passing phenomenon, but they, this was a regular complaint that I was getting. So Interesting. All right, yeah. Evan Coleman, thanks. Thank you.